Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a criminal. I just need some money for my medicine. So help me not break the law. Thank you. Change? Can you spare some change? Hey, thank you, buddy. Thanks a lot. Spare some change? How about you, sir? Can you get some change? Excuse me, can you spare some change? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just turn your back and go on me. Walk away, huh? What, do you think I'm not going to go anywhere, Mr. Rockefeller? Well, I got news for you. I got no place to go. Change? Excuse me, sir. Can you spare some change? You know, I got a right to be here, too. Once it's in my pension, now it's going to be spent in a courtroom. Well, let's get a little head start on your statement. Hey, what's the say? I mean, it's rush hour. I'm on my way downtown. A guy dies off the curb in front of my rig. He wants to kill himself. What has he got to use me for? How compassionate. Hey, I'm the one who's got to take all the blood tests. It ain't like I could have turned away. The guy was a maniac. I know he pushed him deliberately. One of our homeless hordes was uh, hassling the commuters. I'm going to need a description. He had on a dirty blue coat and a plaid scarf. And he was filthy. Well, that narrows it down. Look, did you get a look at his face? Who wants to look? Good luck. Thanks. Well, he was begging for change. I work for a living. I'll be damned if I give it away. You remember anything about him? We tried to get away. You couldn't take a hint. Maybe we should have given him something. He shoves a cappuccino cup from Bo Matan in my face. That's three bucks a throw. He doesn't need my quarter. Hey, Logan! Mr. Keeley was standing next to the victim. How you doing? I'm Detective Logan. Did you get a look at this homeless guy? I saw him coming and turned my back. So you didn't actually see anybody get pushed? I heard the guy scream. All right, we'll call you if we need you. Thank you. Okay. Not easy to read the ID. Frank Meyer, Harry, 32. I guess you should have given the guy a quarter, huh? We give the second cup free, so these bums lift a paper cup out of the trash and come in for a refill. Did you ever see one wearing a plaid scarf? Oh, yeah. You mean Bruce Springsteen? Some kind of musician, plays the air guitar between gigs. He uses the scarf to wash car windows. So he's a regular around here? Yeah, a couple times a week. He lives in the neighborhood. <laughs> Lucky us. Where in the neighborhood? Well, he did invite me back to his place once, but um, I didn't go. The guitar playing squeegee man? <laughs> yeah, that'd be Rudy. He has a part-time job in the psycho ward at Bellevue. And the rest of the time he lives here? You ever been in Bellevue? Well, I think it's time for Rudy's monthly checkup. Is this his crib? Yeah, but you're gonna have to come back at night. During the day, they're all out working. Working? Yeah, that's what they call it. All right, we'll come back for the night shift. Now, let's go pay a visit to the late Mr. Rankmeyer. There's not much of him to see. Without the driver's license, you couldn't even give him a name. Next of kin idea? Yeah, she called. We want to wait until we glow him back together. And make sure it's really him. You can't tell from the face and the ID? You try playing speed bump to an 18-wheeler. We'll x-ray the body, look for filling, surgical pins. It's a hell of a way to go, huh? Well, he took something with him. Under his fingernails, ripped blue fibers. Blue fibers? So he grabbed onto the guy who pushed him. You better get this to forensics. You think Rudy, the guitar player, is back from work? Welcome to Strawberry Fields West. The berries are smelling a little ripe. Hey, old timer, you know a guy named Rudy? Guess not. I should sleep so well. Well, he puts in a longer day than you. Hey, now, baby! Waka, waka, wow, wow! Get into my wow, 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 Rudy! Hey, Rudy! Show's over, baby. Hey, hey, this is my encore. Come on, let's, let's go. Where have all the flowers gone? I'll tell you, man, lawyers, bankers. Indian chiefs. It's the system, man. It's only as strong as its weakest member. 
And you're looking at them. I bet that really gets your blood going. Oh, I'm on fire, man. I see them every day. They spend more on one suit than I've made in the last 10 years. And when I ask them for change, they just turn their backs. And you give them a little push. Oh, you guys think I did it. <laughs>